Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I'm in Greek mode today. I've got um, I've got six Greek wines, uh, three from Crete and uh, three from other parts of Greece. Uh, first three are all from a winery called Lyrarchis, and uh, there one of their favourite grapes is Syrah. So I think the Syrah in uh, all of these these three. First one, what's it say? Uh, it's got Cotsifali, Mandilari and Syrah. And it's called Octo, uh, and a dry red wine, Vin Rouge. It says 2010. Actually, they've, they've tipped 2010. The bottle says 2009. But it is the 2010 vintage. Let's give it a whirl. Now, there's a sweet summer pudding-like character here. So it's uh, characters like red currants and uh, uh, a slightly squishy strawberries and uh, maybe a little black currant in there but, and blackberries. It um, feels like it's going to have uh, maybe not the, the not fresh fruit, but that, that fruit where you just plonk fresh fruit in a pan uh, with sugar for about half a minute and it's just started to uh, ooze some of its juices. feels like it's going to be... Um, rounded and gentle. Um, it doesn't feel, it doesn't smell like it's going to be too hot or anything like that. It smells, uh, uh, it smells pretty decent. Yeah, so you've got those wild berry fruits, uh, that ever, ever so slightly cooked edge, and then this ever so slightly rustic tannin, uh, tannic edge that comes in giving you a chewy finish. Uh, it's juicy, it's not too chewy, uh, definitely wine that you need to have with, with some food, but um, pretty decent start. I, I do like that. Next one, Syrah Cotsifali, uh, 2009 vintage. So Cotsifali, uh, I don't well, I've got the, I've got the stats for the uh, for the previous vintage on the back of the bottle. Uh, it says Syrah 70%, Cotsifali 30, um, and uh, no reason to assume that it's not going to be uh, uh, the same for the, for this particular one. Let's give it a whirl. Well, it's got some of, some of that same uh, slightly rustic character of, of the first one. Earthy cherries, um, and then the blackberries, and then the, the red berries as well. It uh, feels like it's going to be maybe a slightly bolder flavour, um, maybe a bit more a bit more structured. Uh, but um, again, it's got this, uh, this rounded, warm juiciness without going into the overripeness. Yeah, I like that warm, plummy dustiness that's in both of these. And um, I, I think about Spanish wines that have got that, that character that reminds me of roof tiles. Here, there's um, in the way that there is a, Hispanic, a, a Spanish cat, uh, character that, um, that uh, quite a few wines have, this, this, the, the, there is something here that is definitely Greek about these. Um, and uh, I, I've, maybe not Greek, but certainly th there's some, some bits further north from Greece where you, you do get that character. What I, what, what I think marks these out as being that little bit better is that um, uh, they, they've got quite um, these dusty tannins to contend with. And uh, they've done it better here. They've not, uh, they've not left, you're not left with something that's too hard, too sharp and uh, isn't trying to rasp your way down your throat. Um, uh, a step up in concentration, step up in um, enjoyability. I don't, I don't know. I do like the first one. Uh, I like that chewy character here. Maybe a more ambitious wine, but uh, I, I, I think almost the first one does its job just as well. And that final one from uh, Lerarakis is their Symbolo uh, Grand Cuvée 2008. Um, and um, I had a bit of a troll on the internet because it doesn't say on the back label what it is, what's in it. Um, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah are the main ones, and there's a little bit of um, of that other one, um, Cotsifalis. Um, so let's let's just give it a whirl and and see. I'm not. I, I think this is one of those that they don't make every year because the website goes on about 2005 vintage, and this one is the 2008, which um, where the vintage has been changed in red felt tip from 2005 to 2008. Now this is the one where you can see um, uh, influence of a, of a barrel more than, I, I don't know whether the, the uh, middle one has been in, in a barrel, but here there's that, um, uh, the feeling of the élevage, the um, uh, soft smokiness of oak, uh, but it, what's good about it is it's not gone over the top into that, um, uh, they, it doesn't feel like they've used oak that's too new, they, it feels like they've used good quality oak and they've used it well, they've not been afraid to leave the wine in, in the barrel for that um, Feels like quite a long time, uh, and the wine's just gone a little bit more gentle. So you're getting these um, again, the dusty character, this dusty earthy character. Uh, not maybe as much of the um, uh, of that rustic iron earthiness uh, that was in the, in the first two. Maybe that's the uh, uh, the Cotsifalis grape talking there, and there's there's less of it here, so it, it doesn't get as much of a voice. Uh, but it, it feels rounded, warm, and plummy, it, and. Uh, Smells good, and uh, it's, uh, what's also good, again, they've not gone for over-ripeness. They've gone for, it feels like it's, uh, it, it's a pretty well-balanced wine.
and the warm dusty plumminess comes through. Um, it's still, it's you still got the tannic side. I do notice now that some of the vanilla from the oak. Um, uh, and, and in terms of the tannins, the, the finish is certainly on the dry side. Um, it defi again, definitely a food wine, but desperately young wine. Um, uh, but again, I think in terms of uh, the, the way of the, they've um, they've made the wine, doesn't feel like they're trying to em em over impress you. It, fi it feels like they're they're just confident in the quality of their fruit. Uh, they they uh, the, the wine making is good and. Um, Feels very promising, actually, and uh, a wine. I, 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 what time are we now? Half past four. Uh, but I'd love to see this in, in a few hours' time because uh, I think it's going to be. Uh, it, it's it's going to it's going to be even more impressive than it is now. But I do like it. Okay, so the, the first three all have Syrah as a theme. Uh, next three, no more from the Lirarakis winery. Um, next three, uh, St. George or Argiogitico is the, the theme running through these. So the first one I've got is Semeli uh, Argiogitico Mountain Sun 2008, a dry red wine, a dry red regional wine of Peloponnese. Again, there's that dusty iron character. Um, dusty iron and uh, oh, rusty plums. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting rusty plums. Maybe it's the way I'm sitting, but uh, it's, it just feels like there's the, the, um, this welcome rustic se uh, sense about it, which uh, uh, if you've been brought up on a diet of New World wines, you might find it uh, a, a bit too out there. But um, I, I don't know. I, I, I sometimes I prefer wines with that little bit of uh, character and a few warts rather than something that's scrubbed up just too much. So it's got the it's got those yeah the, the the warm juicy rounded plums and it's got it's got the cherries but then I was talking about about that um, slightly um, what I call the Central European tannin edge here uh, maybe they're, they're just a little bit on the on, on the on the clunky side uh, distinctive I like the flavours but I just I, I just think if, if the guy who'd made these had been given this fruit I think he would have made uh, uh, a more sympathetic wine um, it's okay I like the fruit flavours but I think that was a better wine to be made there next one is uh, Scoras I think these last two are both Scoras uh, so this is from Nemea and it's St George or they put St. George and Agiorgitico on, but they're both the same. And this smells much better. Uh, yes, it's got that uh, wild, plummy, um, yeah, wild, plummy, dusty character. Uh, and it's got the, uh, the, the dark cherries and the dark berries, uh, that real sense of the earthiness. But it doesn't feel like it's going to be quite as... Um, Angular as the first one. Uh, it feels like that it's a softer wine that's been that, that's been ha had its elevage done uh, more sympathetically to the fruit that was there in the first place. So um, there is this yeah juicy plummy warmth. It, 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 it smells like you want to dive in and have uh, have quite a bit. So I will do. This soft sweet plummy red berry dark berry um, herbiness dustiness. Gentle tannins, uh, and it's got some of that, um, what well, the iron flavour that I was getting in, in in some of the previous ones, but without the clunky tannins. And um, it's pretty classy wine that I, I do like that. And uh, um, yes, if it's sort of uh, if you if, if you're into. Um, in, into your uh, it's Sagrantino and things like that. It, it reminds me of, uh, of, of Italian wines that have got that uh, not afraid to have bold fruit and also not afraid to have tannins, but uh, nicely evolved tannins. So it, it doesn't feel like you're, um, you're you're trying to chew cinnamon. Have you ever seen those? Uh, Google YouTube like spoonful of cinnamon, the cinnamon challenge. If you want, it, it's um, it's quite amusing. And uh, the fact that I know about it shows I have a misspent. Um, middle age rather than misspent youth. Anyway, let's find the, I'll try the last one. Uh, so from the same guys, Megas Oinas, which I presume means big wine. Uh, masterful blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and St. George from 60 year old vines in Upland Argolida. Cascaged in French oak. Let's give it a whirl. Now I stick my nose in there and I sort of wonder why they need the Cabernet Sauvignon because uh, St. George is quite an aristocratic great variety. Structure, fruit, um, is it, are they needing to put Cabernet Sauvignon in there because they think that uh, Cabernet Sauvignon is the grape that will impress people? Um, I, th I smell it and it smells, um, it smells okay, but it doesn't smell quite as authentic as the, uh, as the previous one. Uh, it smells like it's got some nice, generous, juicy fruit, but um, um, yeah, not as authentic. Let's see whether it tastes authentic. See, for me, that's just another wine. Um, it's it's got okay black currant, blackberry. Um, the tannins are a bit hard. 
Um, and, and notice that it feels like that the one before the elevage has been done more in sympathy with what was there in the fruit uh, in the first place. Maybe one thing I notice is that uh, slightly dry, skinny tannins of um, uh, maybe the Cabernet Sauvignon just over ripened that little bit and the fruit started to shrivel and uh, the, the grape skins lost a little bit of their vitality. vitality. There's just a little bit of um, hard dryness there. Um, Mm, yeah, much prefer the one before, but uh, interesting set of six wines uh, from a country that um, I think we're going to see quite a bit more of in the future if they can uh, uh, if they can get their uh, bureaucracy together as much as anything. There, there, there's, uh, there's some terrific stuff being made in Greece, uh, and um, so do go out and look for it. And uh, this this grape in uh, St George is uh, look pretty promising, but these guys Lerarakis also look pretty promising. So. Uh, uh, when if you're going on holiday, just go and see if you can find either of those two. See you soon.